Hi, welcome to Pathology Riddles. Today we will be dealing with part 2 of the urine questions. Under physical examination, what do you check for in a urine sample? So under physical examination, you have to check for volume, color, odor, appearance, pH, and specific gravity. What is polyuria? Basically, if the urine excreted in the previous 24 hours does not exceed 2 liter or 2000 ml, this condition is called polyuria. What are the examples of polyuria? You can see polyuria in diabetes mellitus, diabetes insipidus, chronic kidney disease, and diuretic therapy. Why do diabetes mellitus patients have polyuria? In diabetes mellitus, there is an increase in plasma glucose. So, kidney has uh, something called a renal threshold beyond which it cannot reabsorb the glucose back. So, this glu the excessive glucose which is filtered remains in the proximal tubule. Now, this increases the osmotic pressure, hence, the water is retained and less water is reabsorbed by the, uh, the kidney. Hence, there is polyuria. Why do diabetes insipidus patients have polyuria? In diabetes insipidus, there is a failure of production and secretion of antidiuretic hormone, also called vasopressin. Now, this is important for reabsorption of water. Hence, the water cannot be properly reabsorbed. So, this causes polyuria. Why do chronic kidney disease patients have polyuria? In chronic kidney disease, there is a decrease in ability to concentrate urine. Hence, it causes polyuria. So, what is oliguria? When the urine volume in the previous 24 hours does not exceed more than 400 ml, then this condition is called oliguria. Another condition is anuria. So, when the urine output of the previous 24 hours does not exceed 100 ml, or there is a complete cessation of urine output, then this condition is called anuria. So, what are the examples of oliguria? It can happen in cases of dehydration, fever, acute glomerulonephritis, congestive cardiac failure. Why do patients with dehydration or congestive cardiac failure have oliguria? mainly because there is a decrease in blood flow to the kidney. The ultrafiltration of blood which leads to production of urine, the volume of this blood if it is decreased, so the ultrafiltrate will also decrease. Hence, less urine will be produced. What are the examples of anuria? Anuria can be seen in shock due to acute tubular necrosis, hemolytic transfusion reaction, and urinary tract obstruction, for example, renal calculi. So, this was the video about 
urine questions. This is Dr. Bismar signing out. Till we meet the next time, please do subscribe and comment below.